All right, so I've had a lot of people ask me how to get a job at Amazon. So in this video, I'm gonna give you all the tips and all the things I would do if I were to reapply for the internship or the job. Let's go. So the first thing that I would do if I was to reapply for the job is to get an AWS certification. This could be the Cloud Practitioner one or the Solutions Architect Associate. I think this one's really good to show um, the employers and recruiters uh, that you already have the skills and knowledge for, about AWS so that it will definitely make your, cat, your CV uh, stand out amongst the crowd. So the reason why certifications are really great for your applications because it shows you stand out as a candidate and that you actually know AWS tools. So if you're coming to work for AWS, it's a great way to demonstrate that. Furthermore, as part of the internship scheme, part of the requirement is you actually become Solutions Architect Associate uh, certified. So it really shows the importance of certifications at, at AWS. And actually, when you join as a full-time employee, they make you, um, you have to become Solutions Architect Professional certified within 18 months of joining. So certifications are really big at AWS, so I'd really recommend doing that. And do the other ones, like the developer ones or the sysadmin one, they're really, really great for your CV. So the next thing I would do is work on at least three side projects. This could be going to Hackathon and actually having a project. Um, or working at an internship or working for a startup. And I think this is great to really um, sort of show your technical abilities. And it's a, it's a talking point for you to talk about in your CV and in your interview. The main thing with these free projects is you need to actually uh, do something. And I know it sounds really obvious and really dumb, but you really need to make something, uh, give a reason why you made it, and then give the results of what you made it. So if you've seen the previous video of the action impact, you want to say you've done something and then you want to say the result of what you did. So that would be my next tip and I hope that helps. Oh, okay, so I really like this set scene so I'm just going to say a few more stuff here. Uh, I thought it would be really valuable to say what I've done uh, you know, for my internship. So before I started the AWS Solutions Architect internship, I actually worked as a software engineer at American Express. I worked at a, as a junior developer at a fintech startup called Raindrop. Um, and I did like quite a few hackathons. And actually what I found was at the interview, I talked more about my personal projects rather than those two internships. So I think AWS really doesn't discriminate if you've had internship experience before or not. Um, and these are all my own opinions, they're not Amazon's opinions. But during my interview, I really only got asked about uh, my personal projects um, and just trying to and talking about it, talking about the results, talking about the different technologies I use. So I'd really encourage you to just do free side projects uh, so that you can talk about it in your interview and in your CV. All right, let's go to the next place. Okay, so now that you got certified, you've done free project, what do you need to do next? You need to write an awesome CV. To write an awesome CV, you can check out my previous video, how to write a CV. Uh, but ultimately, to summarize it, all you need to do is action impact. Action being what you've done, and impact being a quantitative or qualitative measurement of the results that you achieved because of what you did. And that that's gonna kill it for you so well. I get your friends, get your university career advisors, message me, message people to just go through your CV to make sure it's really good and that you're ready to actually send it off to Amazon. One thing at Amazon you can also do is ask for a referral. So if you know somebody that works at Amazon or have worked with somebody that's then moved to Amazon, you can ask them to refer you to the company and that way your CV might get noticed uh, faster than if you were to submit it yourself. I'm running out of places to sit in this room, so I'm just going to sit on the sofa here. So now that you've written your CV, you've done all the things for your CV, um, what's next? And you've already done the application. So the next thing I would do is then learn about the Amazon leadership principles. They're super important, and I've got a video coming next about how to demonstrate Amazon leadership principles. But I would go through every single leadership principle and find examples of how you've shown and demonstrated these leadership principles. They're so vital at Amazon. During my internship, I actually heard of leadership principles like everywhere, from my managers to the other intern. Everyone was just saying in every conversation, and it's so crazy that um, it's actually embodied at, by the Amazonians every single day with every decision they make. So really make sure you understand Amazon leadership principles. All right. So we're on to the last bit now. You've done the certification. You've done the free side projects. You've written an amazing CV. You've learned about the Amazon leadership principles and have an example about each one. So what's the last thing? So what I'd recommend last is just to learn, make sure you understand uh, the different technologies used by AWS because they can ask about that stuff. So they could ask how a free tier web application works or how you might optimize a database. And I'm sure in, before you get the interview, they will send you some details or resources so you know what to and I'll put some stuff in the description. And so once you've finished that, hopefully you're in, guys. Good luck. I really wish you tried.
Bonus tip. Last thing I would say you should actually do as well is go network with Amazonians. So you can go to events, there's tons of events. If you go on LinkedIn and follow some Amazonians, you'll, they will post um, different events that they're doing uh, throughout the year and you can go to them and you can network with them and ask them about their job, ask them about their specific role and ask you know, for a referral potentially. It's about building meaningful connections by going to these events and really showing you're interested. Other ways you can also show your interest is by building a blog and then you can join the AWS community, uh, builders community I think it's called, uh, writing a blog, making these YouTube videos and just you know talk about AWS, get noticed by Amazonians so that they can refer you and help you. And especially if you're you know, noticed by a hiring manager, they can really help you uh, for your interviews and prepare you. So it's really, really useful. I hope that really helps with the application. And I think this shows how I would personally do it if I had to do it all over again. And I think if you're, you know, if you're first year at university, you have a lot of time now to just do each one slowly so that by the second year, you can do an internship. If you're fast, you can do it and you can get an internship by the end of year one, which will be really great for you. I hope, this, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one where we're going to talk about how to demonstrate Amazon leadership principles. Bye-bye.